Hello beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to a new era, my name is Emma. Sagittarius, this is your monthly read for March, however, we are a little bit into March, so think of it as four to six weeks into the future, which typically my uh, readings are anyway, but I'm recording this on 11th of March, just so you know. Um, a lot has been going on in my life lately and that's why I am a little bit late with these readings. If you want to know what's been going on, check the reading I'm done out, then you will get all the information there. <clears throat> to what's been happening, um, thank you guys for all your likes and subscribes and donations. I see them all and I thank you so much. So let's see how I can be of service today. Wow. Sagittarius for the month of March. We have three of Ariel, which is a very creative. It's talking about like do what you love, get creative. Six of Gabriel, something is done. You've done a wonderful job around something. Three and six and eight. There is something better waiting for you. Something better on the other side. Not necessarily the other side, but... <laughs> Let's clarify this and at the end we're going to see what the angels have to say as well to you. Can we clarify through your aerial please? <clears throat> and it's a rainbow feel here. Three of aerial. Clarity of belief. Clarity of belief. If we can... Urgh. It really does not want to focus. It's clarity of belief and it's transformation around that creativity. It's six of Gabriel. <clears throat> Time to do something new. What do we have here? Six of Gabriel. Can we clarify? Six, which is love and harmony. And it's saying congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. So something is waiting, and because we also have eight of Raphael, that there's something better waiting for you. We have believe and succeed. Number six clarifies by number six. And eight of Raphael, there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. The spiritual quest, Sagittarius. Eight, clarified by eight. Wow, that's really strong. Success and growth. Success and growth. This is really beautiful. So the whole feel here is that <clears throat> you probably have been wanting to do something for a while. Maybe you've been putting it off, like putting it on the back burner or let's do this or feeling like it's just not the right timing or it can even be a little bit of lack of confidence there, Sagittarius. But this is like so much about thinking about what you want to do and the clarity of belief. We have believe and succeed. So we have clarity of belief and then believe and succeed and then success and growth. So it's like clarity and belief, belief and succeed, succeed and growth. So it's like one has led to the other, has led to the other, has led to the other. So it's like, I just feel like there's not necessarily the thing that you want to do has taken some time to sort of come around. It might have, but I don't, I don't feel like that is a major thing here. The major thing is that we've been waiting for Sagittarius. Sagittarius has now a clarity of belief. In the month of March, it becomes clear what you want to do or, or the path becomes clear. It might be that like up until <clears throat> this very month, you've had interests and you've had passions and you've had talents and things that you wanted to do, but for, for whatever reason, the timing or your confidence has not been right. And it, it might not even be that you have, like, if, you, if your confidence was just there, it would have already happened. But there's something intertwined there with the timing of it, because it's like it's, it, it almost, you almost didn't have to have the confidence, because it's like, is trying to, I just see this pot like sitting with water on the stove 
and you haven't turned the heat on. And so it's like waiting and waiting and waiting for the water to boil and there's no heat. And so if the energy is not there, nothing's going to happen. You can prepare all you want. You can change the water. You can change the pot. You can, you can change the place where you're supposed to boil it. But if the energy is not there, it's just not going to happen. So there's something with timing, but there's also something with confidence. And so Sagittarius, you're coming into, it's either you have already, you already know this, like it's time to do what you love. It's time to, whether that is like starting on a, on a very like on the side project level or like a hobby level, it's time to start to do what you love and come into that creative that only you can be Sagittarius. I mean, obviously every single person is creative to some degree, but Sagittarius, when you when you put that side to yourself into any project, it's gonna become masterful. And clarity of belief is about <clears throat> it's not so much, yes, it's gonna clear up the direction. Yes, it's gonna make it clear where you need to go, or like that there even is a path here that a moment ago it wasn't. But I just also feel like the clarity of belief is that you now believe in what you're in what you're doing. It's clear, like, okay, here's my direction, here's what I want to do. And it's almost clarity of knowing that you know what's up, you know what to do, and you know which direction to move in. And that's probably a very satisfying place. Can we just draw one more card there? Clarify this first <clears throat> the first message. It can also be that you're bringing in others to start working on the same project as you. Recogni uh, recognition and reward. And three, clarifying three. I just love how the clarifiers are just sort of validating that like, is this what you asked for? Yes, it is. Is this what I'm thinking? Yes, it is. It's like, a, it's validation. Recognition and reward, whatever... If this is something that like, <clears throat> I don't feel like you have been working on a project for six years and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to have, to have recognition is rather you have <clears throat> for six years thought about something that you want to do and now you're finally doing it. So it's like you, you're getting recognized for putting the energy in, for not giving this up, for wanting to better yourself and wanting wanting to get on this path and there is a reward at the like that's I feel the the rainbow here like there is a treasure at the end of the rainbow it's worth it and sort of keep at it is what I'm getting and three is all about celebration and manifestation it's time to get creative <clears throat> then we have six of Gabriel in six with believe and succeed this is saying congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. It's time to move on to the next project. And for some of you, this is when it's time to move. It's like, it's time to get on to do this. Like whatever this has been in the works for you, it's time to go there. Like you are so prepared for it. We have believe and succeed. And this is like a lighthouse that is like, it's steering you in the right direction. Follow the path, follow where your belief and transformation is taking you. And 6-6 six, six is love and harmony it's in the right direction it's talking about balance it's talking about making the right choice and feeling like you're making the right choice like finally getting some clarity around what what you're supposed to do even if you don't see evidence of it just yet or even if you don't like have the tools or the means to execute what it is that you want to do to just sort of have this belief in your mind about success and just steer in that direction you're already like doing something right. Recognition and re reward and congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Leading up to this point, you've done everything. I don't know, Sagittarius, there's something about doing everything in one's power that you possibly can do to move in this direction. It might be that you have had very little to work with for such a long time or you've been almost like on a, on a burnout situation, like there's been a heavy energy here almost a burnout energy and now like you're back on track you're ready for the next level and you've done such a great job to get to this place <clears throat> so the month of march is really like putting on in the, in the, 
not back on track, but a clarity of the track. This is what I want to do. Maybe it even has been a question for you if you want to do this, because if you've been close to burnout or even have burned out, or if there's, for whatever reason, there's been a little bit of a shutdown for you and it's taken a moment or two to get back on track, it might even be a question if you want to get back on track, if you want to proceed with certain things, because that can sometimes be a little bit daunting. If this is like a relationship, if you've been in a really ha- heavy si- 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 if you've been in a really heavy situation and like the relationship was really heavy or it was a heavy ending to something, it might even be that you're saying like, I'm not interested. I'm not, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not interested in a new relationship. But this is when you're saying, maybe, maybe I'm interested after all. There's a clear path and it's like, okay, I might be ready to pursue this. <clears throat> Eight, clarifying eight. There's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So this might be that we have a bridge over to the other side there, right? And it's not the literal other side. It's like over to something new. This is what I'm feeling that this is quite similar in one way with um, Scorpio. So if you have any Scorpio in your chart, please check it check that reading out because there's something about the similarity in wanting wanting to go someplace new but feeling really confident and and feeling really safe in the place where you're where where you've been and it's like a calling to another place so if the calling's there it means that you want like you your higher self or your inner being has moved someplace else so there will be such a benefit to move along with that but it can be like a little bit of a fear to move ahead because you really don't know what you will get to. This is like being good friends with the unknown. And it's sometimes really tough to just trust the, the inner, it's just a feeling to go on. So sometimes if you don't have like, this is an actual job, this is a, this is an opportunity and here is how it looks. Can you please come join this job? Then obviously you can say yes or no. This is more a feeling of there's a direct believe and succeed. We don't have anything to sort of, you've done a wonderful job to, to keep at it. And, and we're going to see success and growth here. And there's going to be validation for what you're doing. But when you don't see the validation just yet, like if you have an idea about something, but it doesn't manifest, it's just a feeling. You have a feeling that someone is about to enter into your life. You have a feeling something's about to shift. There's a feeling that there might be an opportunity around the bend, but you don't actually, it's not tangible just yet. You can't actually see it or smell it or like grab hold of it. Then it's a little bit trickier to say yes or no to something that you don't see. You have to say yes or no to follow an, the inner voice, but it's calling you to say, there's something better waiting for you now. There's something, and instead of saying better waiting, I would probably say it's waiting. It's time to, it's time to get going. And do what, do what's right, do what you know is right for you. I feel a little bit here, Sagittarius, that that sentence is really standing out, which for, for me means that you probably have listened a lot to what other people think or what other people, um, either it, it can be both, but either it can be like about someone has an op- opinion about how you're supposed to live your life, how you're supposed to do with your kids, how you're supposed to raise your kids what um having a lot of, of of opinions or it's someone in your vicinity that you have steered your life around like okay so whatever works for them is going to work for you and it's rarely that you have sort of put your foot down and say do you know what that's not going to work for me here's actually what's going to work for me maybe you can sort of come along on my journey this time um so it's a little bit like um just to keep it, uh, maybe to keep it out of conflict, maybe to just keep a balance, quite balanced. Maybe it's just something, um, you know, <laughs> I'm going to compare it to something that it might not feel like at all. But just the other day, um, <clears throat> so me and my mom, we have the same uh, phone operator, like the the 
whatever that's called in English, but like, yeah. So it's not really working super well. It's, it's a little bit like you don't like the management of it and yeah. And it's, it's um, quite expensive. But the hassle to go through with like making those calls and you're put like uh, in line for I don't know how many times, uh, how, how long and how many times I need to call back because I don't have to, I don't have the time to sit there and wait. And then to get to the actual like, okay, we want to change this and then get a new operator. It's just, even if it's not the most ideal situation to be where we're at, it's like too much of a hassle to change it. Even if the change probably will bring something better. <laughs> I don't know my phone situation, if that compares to your situation here as Sagittarius, but there's something in it that is like, sometimes it's easier to just go along with what someone else thinks, because if you have an opinion of your own, you know that's gonna turn into changing the operator, you know, um, and that's a hassle. So it's like easier, but in the long run, it takes a lot of money. And in the long run, if the, if the thing, you know, I, I have to be able to speak in my phone, you know, if it doesn't work, it's going to bring more headache and more, it's going to steal more energy. If you sort of say, if you sort of stay in a situation that does not work for you, then to sort of let it just slide over and over again. So there's something about standing up for oneself here and claiming what it is that you want, Sagittarius, and not be so always doing what other people want you to do if you actually feel this is not what I signed up for. There's something else. There's something calling you now. <clears throat> and we have, the thing is you don't have to fear it. You have, don't have to be like, what if I go there? If, what if I decide to... follow that calling, whatever that is, it's going to lead to success and growth. This is when you're in the midst of this creative energy. We already saw that with this three of Ariel, that you're in this, in the midst of this creative energy. And it, a little bit like it's when you grow a backbone, when you grow a spine, when you're, when your spine is like straight and you stand up straight and you do what you believe in and you speak your truth, like that is when the universe really listens. We have recognition and reward. So it's like, stand your ground, Sagittarius, and speak your truth. And what is it that you want? And 8-8 eight, eight is really powerful. It's a, it's a power number. It's a, it's a number of money. It's a number of manifestation. As above, so below. It's endless opportunities. It's great opportunities knocking at your door. It's like strength and bravery and it's just a beauty so we have eight eight here which is really powerful six six eight eight three three it couldn't be any better um well it can't but <laughs> in the circumstance it's really powerful numbers okay can we just have a little bit more clarification there <clears throat> with where they're going <clears throat> excuse me Wow, another six. Six, six, six. Love. And we have like the growth, where if it starts out really timid, like really a little bit quiet and you see the leaves, like the love, as you grow that spine and you grow a backbone and you grow <clears throat> some confidence there to just really go where you want to go like do what you know is best for you we have the love card which is like then you see the little leaves here that looks exactly like we're starting with little love hearts if you will and the leaves which turns into a big love heart to a big leaf that is like showing up as love <clears throat> And I just see this grow and grow and grow and grow. Just continue to trust in yourself and believe in yourself. And that love vibration really will start to vibrate with inside of you. This can lead to an actual relationship. It can lead to something that, this is where it's a little bit similar with Scorpio again, because it's a little bit of an overnight feeling, like an overnight sensation. 
we go from nothing to something or from unemployed to employed to from no relationship to relationship or like a we're in question but now we're there's a clarity of belief so all of a sudden it's like it's quite clear where we're going with this and for some of you guys I don't I don't want to be alarm you but like and it's never fun to give these messages but I also feel like for some of you guys it's about clarity of belief that you can just not stay in this relationship anymore or you can just not stay in this work related situation it just becomes very clear what you need to do and even though you know it's clear what you need to do it's sometimes hard to break up or to move on or whatever but it's like for the better it's really something beautiful waiting for you here in the month of march okay <clears throat> some final thoughts from your angels what do we have for Sagittarius, please, for the month of March? Or four to six weeks into the future. Take action. And I feel one more. There you go. <clears throat> Take action. And within the next few weeks, which is perfect because this is the reading that we're doing this for. Um, take action. It's There's clarity of belief. There's congratulations it's time to move there's something better waiting for you go to where you feel the calling and within the next few weeks you will see some tangible results something very clear this is what I say it's so hard to move in the direction of something that you don't see it's just a call it's just a feeling it's just a hunch I feel like they're supposed to do this but in the when within the next few weeks it can be that you're, something is just tr something is coming in which makes you take action like here it is here's the green light go for it now is the time or and it can be both uh this is within the next few weeks is when you actually finally are starting to see the results of the you've been following the feeling and following the feeling and staying the course and trying the best you can to move in the right direction and there as the manifestation there's the result or the proof that you're moving in the right direction within the next few weeks from when you listen to this i should say okay that is what i have for you beautiful Sagittarius. i hope that's helpful thank you so much for watching and take care guys